knitters, I'm Helen of Curious Handmade. Today I'm just jumping on for a quick little update to share with you two recent designs as well as some other lovely things that have arrived during the week. On this channel I talk about knitting and crafty things. At the moment I'm really into quilting and embroidery as well as knitting so I'll be sharing a little bit about those other hobbies as well. And yeah, so this week we are halfway through Knitvent 2021 um, already. It seems like it's just passing by super fast as uh, this time of year often does. And if you're new to the channel, Knitvent is my holiday collection where I share uh, gift knitting projects over the course of five weeks, uh, six patterns in five weeks. And last week, was the week where we released two designs in the one week and that is the meet cute socks and the meet cute mitts so i will just show you my samples so i'll show you the mitts first they're super sweet teeny tiny little fingerless mitts uh they're knit in dk weight yarn and they have this beautiful antler cable running down the back of the hand uh, these um, can be knit pretty quickly. I think I knit them up probably a couple of hours. So if you're looking for something the night before <laughs> you're due to gift, then these are probably the ones for you. So this yarn is Louis and Lola Merino Nylon. It's 80% merino 20% nylon so also really great for the other design that I released this week the socks with the little bit of nylon in it um, and this colorway is Robin's Nest it's a tealy blue I think it's a, more of a blue than a green um, the color fairly accurate fairly accurate really beautiful color I love this color I think it would be nice for a sweater actually <laughs> for me I think it would suit me um, and then the other pattern is the meet cute socks and these are DK weight socks I should have put them on sock blockers to show you but never mind and um, so this yarn is really really special it's from a dyer called um, the fiber smith and leslie is an indie dyer and also has an amazing shop in melbourne and so i first discovered her shop looking online for fabric for dressmaking and um, i think i've purchased a couple of dress quantities of fabric from her and then I discovered the yarn section of the shop. And so this is the Fiber Smith hand dyed, um, I think she calls it eight ply DK Merino. And it's 100% um, and it's sustainable, extra fine Australian Merino. And it is so soft. It's so beautiful. I love this yarn. I want a sweater in this as well. Not that it gets cold up here, really, even in winter, um, but that doesn't stop me from wanting to knit and have sweaters. Uh, so yes, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. And I just had a look and she does have some of this colorway white marble on her website at the moment and lots of other lovely colorways too. Could not recommend this yarn enough and I might um, hop on and get some more and make another pair of these socks because these are going to be the best coziest bed socks ever <laughs> love them so much um so yeah I will be probably breaking the rule of designers and wearing my sample with these ones I don't think I'll be able to resist and the other beautiful sample is in equally gorgeous yarn and this is sea smoke from louie and lola 
uh, beautiful Karina. It's a beautiful Tasmanian dyer, indie dyer, and just has gorgeous, gorgeous colorways. This is a beautiful blue speckle, and you can see the antler cable down the front with another, just a little simple um, cable. <laughs> There's a thread from my quilting projects on it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's the two patterns from Knitvent for this week. I just wanted to, uh, show you and give you a little peek. And again, they were basically inspired by the same cardigan from, um, that inspired the cowl last week. So the beautiful cables on Cameron Diaz's cardigan that we talked about last week. Um, it's got a two by two ribbing on the back and then the cable panel on the front um, going down the leg and the top of the foot. So I hope you're enjoying Knitvent so far. I've been loving seeing your projects popping up on Instagram and Ravelry and uh, seeing what everybody is making. Some knitters are super speedy and getting their projects up very quickly, which is very exciting for me to see those. So uh, last week I showed you an embroidery I started working with, is the Christmas tree little scene with the Christmas tree and the little bunny rabbits from Nikki Franklin's The Stitchery. And I didn't have a, um, what do you call it? A hoop, embroidery hoop to put it in to work on. So I went online to my um, local to me um, online shop, <laughs> um, Brin and Co. And purchased a couple of supplies. So she has these great, um, I guess they're plastic um, hoops. And so this is the pink one. This one is about seven inches, so that should fit my Christmas tree quite well. Um, and I couldn't resist also looking at this one as well, which is um, similar size and but square shape <laughs> in this lovely green color. Really like that color as well. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet um, as I work on my Christmas tree. Um, and then while I was there, of course, I get tempted by the other lovely things. So I purchased these really, really cute scissors, embroidery scissors. They've got this tiny little blade, but really big handles. Um, and uh, yeah, they stock a great selection of scissors, I think. Um, the owner must have a little bit of a thing about scissors as well, uh, like like I do. So <laughs> I think I'm her perfect customer. And then finally, I saw these really cool wooden frames. So you can put your finished embroidery in these um, to display them. So I went for the round one because I actually have this love embroidery kit that I haven't um, embroidered yet. But I thought, oh, well, when I finish my embroidery at some point, maybe next year, <laughs> I'll be able to put it in this beautiful frame. So that was some little purchases that I bought for my latest embroidery obsession. And I also was enabled on Instagram with another purchase, a festive purchase, and that was this beautiful ornament. It's a um, porcelain or clay, a Christmas tree ornament. It's got little beads um, separating the stars and gorgeous stars. And uh, this is from um, another fairly local to me ceramic artist, um, Paperboat Press. And yeah, I don't know how I found her, whether Instagram suggested her because she's nearby or I was 
you know, found her on someone else's feed. Uh, but I was very taken by her beautiful um, art and I decided to order this special edition <laughs> ornament and it came with a little story and she says, every Christmas my parents gave me an ornament. When I left home, I took with me an eclectic and beautiful collection that still decorate my tree to this day. These ceramic ornaments are handmade with that same of memory and love in my Brisbane studio. So how lovely is that? I think um, they had a an they had an open studio at um, in Brisbane last weekend, and I was a bit sad that I couldn't get down to visit. Um, because I don't think that that's something that they do very often. It was kind of like a, a one-off open studio as part of a broader um, ceramicists uh, event. Uh, so yeah, so I will probably be visiting their online shop again before Christmas as well. Uh, so I just wanted to share that little little beautiful ornament with you. I'm trying to just buy handmade this Christmas, this holidays for our family gifts. We're doing a, a secret Santa, so I'll have to get a bit creative and figure out what I can do that's handmade or not so commercial for my main family gift. So that's all my news I have for you today. I hope you're doing well and surviving the silly season so far. Happy knitting and I'll talk to you soon.